Uh, this is the RG UK, and today I'll be showing you how to put Hackintosh on a Dell Inspiron 1545. Okay, and uh, the first thing you want to get is iHackintosh, which is a disc here, I don't know if you can see that well. And uh, you want to get 10.5.7. And uh, so we're just gonna, I'm just going to uh, open the disc drive up down here for a sec. And uh, pop the uh, disc in. Okay, and now I'm just going to crash uh, Windows 7 down. Then, uh, once you've done that, you want to try and hit the uh, F12 key before uh, it loads up. So the boot option comes up, and then you want to select uh, uh, CD and uh, DVD slash CDRW driver, drive I mean, then that should boot from the CD, and as you can see it's booting from the CD, and it's just loading now, and I'll uh, come back when this uh, stops loading. Okay, as you can see I've got the little mouse uh, at the, I mean the Apple cursor, so it's just booting up now, and I forgot to mention uh, that this is just to install it, and I will be making another video how to dual boot with Windows 7. This is just uh, uh, the drivers and how to install it and get it working with a uh, native resolution. So first off we're just going to click this little blue arrow down here. And it's going to continue. And we're just going to wait for this to load up. Shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to uh, pause this for a moment and then we'll continue when it loads up. Okay, it's loaded up, and as you can see, iAkintosh version 7, Mac OS X, Leopard 10.5.7, uh, and for non-Apple uh, computers. So, as you can see, we should go into Utilities first, and uh, Disk Utilities. Make sure this opens up. And uh, you can see this is my, uh, I've got my main hard drive here, and I've got three partitions. Uh, that's Windows 7, and I made a backup of everything on Windows 7 in case anything does happen. There is a, uh, like, 75% chance that it won't happen, but just in case. And I've made a Hackintosh driver, I mean a partition. And all you got to do is you got to click uh, Erase, and then select Mac OS. Extended uh, and uh, brackets journaled. Then you want to erase that, and then if you close this down, if you close it back down, and click continue, you should, oh, once you get past the agreement, you should see your driver there. As you can see, there's no Windows 7 or backup drive uh, partitions there because they're not formatted to the Mac OS uh, uh, formation format so that's the only one you should see and that's the one I'm going to click on so I'm going to click continue as you can see I've got the initial summary and uh, by the way, do not click on install at this time. So the first thing we're going to go to is customize. So we want that iAkintosh version 7 main system. And the bootload we want, uh, I'm not so sure on Charmeleon, because the first time I tried this it didn't work, so I'm going to go on uh, the last one here. We should going to select that. And the patches. We're going to uh, leave that how it is, because I don't know much about that. And the drivers is the main thing that we're going to look at. So the VGA drivers, we're not going to select any of those because the graphic, the graphics driver in this uh, laptop, the Dell one's from 1545, is uh, there's no drivers there for this. And so the system ones we want is mm, none of those. Sound, we want uh, the Voodoo HD driver. And uh, that's the one you want, so we can minimise that one again. 
We want the laptop battery. I'll just tick that. We want network. This is the uh, so the wireless one. We want Botcom, and then you want the top one here, the four 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 zero X. We're going to take that one. Then for wireless. I'm going to set the Broadcom VCM43 XX, the one you can see there. Then it's not very clear because it's uh, I'm using I'm using the camera phone and it's a uh, not very good quality. In the language, I'm not sure if you need to select one, but anyway, as I'm English, I'm going to select. Uh, where is English? Okay, there's no one there, so I'm just going to leave it. And uh, that's all we need to do. And you click done. And you click install. But I've already installed this, and I've got everything working. And I'll uh, show you how to get the uh, graphics driver working in native resolution. So I'm just going to pause this. And uh, go into Mac OS X. Okay, this is the bootloader that we installed. Uh, if you were trying to bootload... Uh, actually, you forget that. This is what the bootloader will look like, and you just want to select the one that you named the partition. My one's called uh, Hackintosh. I'm just going to press Enter, and it will boot into that. Okay, and here I've got uh, Mac OS X uh, 10.5.8, because you can get a free update, and I'll show you how to do it in a minute. As you can see, this is a down in Sprum. In Sprum. As you can see about the layout, it is a uh, down from 1545. Okay, and uh, I'll just carry on with this uh, tutorial. So, if you can see the cursor, just anyway. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update. So, we're going to go up to the top corner up here. I'm going to type in update. And there's not one there. So we're not going to forget that. We're going to go into System Preferences down here, taskbar, and you see the software update down here. So you're going to click on that, and you're going to click Check Now. And then you will get at least there should be like iTunes, Safari, and then there should be Mac. Should say one saying Mac OS X 10.5.8. And I'm just going to tick all of those and click install. And uh, that's what we've got to do. So I'm just going to cancel this now because I've already updated uh, today. So you can close that down. And the uh, second thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, get the, uh, the graphics drivers working. So I'll uh, find a link and I'll uh, carry on with this tutorial in a sec. Okay, I found a link uh, which uh, you get the graphics drivers from, and I'll be putting this in the the, the description. Uh, if you just want to look at that, if you can see it, www.insanelymac.com slash forum slash index dot php uh, question mark show topic equals one six 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 nine five. It's called Solved X three hundred. And uh, the graphics driver on this laptop is the uh, 4500. And uh, even though it says X300, it is designed for the four, for, uh, 450. So we're just going to go ahead and download this down here. Which calls it x300.softcursor.zip. And you might have to create an account to download this. So well, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just saying that. So I'll to create an account, and it's downloaded. And uh, another thing you're going to need is a uh, Kex helper. If you just type in Google Kex helper download, and it will be the top link there. And as you can see, it's purple, which means I've already downloaded it, and it's on my desktop at the moment. So I'm just going to uh, show you how to do this now. 
I'm just going to show that in Binder. Drag it out. And you see Kex Helper down here? Kex Helper, the one down there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag that on top. Click Open. And it's going to say, and it's going to come out of this. And you're going to type, you type in your password. And you're going to click Easy Install. And after you installed that, you're going to boot up. I mean, you're going to uh, restart, and uh, you can you will have your native resolution. The only problem with this that you uh, might need an external hard drive. I'm not mean that external hard drive. I mean an external monitor. And uh, I believe there is a fix out there, but I do not know of this at the moment. So I will have to get back to you about that. And I'll be doing a video how to dual boot with Windows 7 and Mac OS X. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and comment on this video. And I will try and reply to all comments. And thanks for watching.